We've got ourselves a three-headed title race coming down the stretch of the season, and people seem to think Liverpool will come out on top of it. All three clubs have European competition matches this month as well, in between each of their Premier League matches, so who will win? Coming up this month, each side will have two games every week and might end up doing so through the end of the Premier League season, depending on how their European competitions turn out. We're only focusing on the Premier League fixtures here and going to project each side's matchup results in under two and a half minutes. And of course, the winner will be revealed in the end. So, on Saturday, April 6th, got Brighton at Brighton. It'll be or at the uh, American Express Stadium. That'll be kind of a difficult game. They did play us pretty well the last time at the Emirates. Well, actually not really. It, eh. it was 2-0, but I don't know. It was kind of close until like the beginning of the second half, so. We will say this will be, we'll say it'll be a draw. Why not? I mean, there are reasons why not. I can see this being a win for Arsenal, but I'll uh, play it safe and say it'll be a draw. Next match, fresh off playing Bayern at the Emirates. They will remain at the Emirates against Villa. This should be three points this time. They were not outplayed by Villa at Villa Park. They just couldn't quite convert. And we're just kind of, I don't know, they, they just couldn't quite get their chances going. It was kind of a weird period because they weren't playing the best football, but they were getting wins. And it was games like, like one against Villa and the one against Fulham where it was just kind of like, what's going on? Even West Ham with all those chances. But, you know, it should be three points regardless of what happens at Bayern, especially since they'll be at the Emirates for both games. Now, as for the next Premier League match on April 20th against Wolves, this one might be difficult. Wolves has done well against the top teams this year. At least, they played pretty well. They played pretty decently against some of them. So, it should be an interesting matchup, especially because they did kind of play us close at the Emirates. So, this is another one I think could be a victory for Arsenal, but I could also see it kind of being like a comeback from Germany and out of form, or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see how that ends up going, but I'll say it'll be a draw for this one. All right, next matchup, Chelsea. That should be three points. Tottenham, that should also be three points. And then we've got Bournemouth, that should be three at the Emirates. United, I will say one. And then Everton, I will say three. Crystal Palace, that should be three points for City. Palace hasn't been the greatest, so three. Luton Town, that should also be three, especially since they'll be at the Etihad. Uh, let's see here. Brighton, that could be a tough matchup. I can see Brighton taking points off of them, so I'll probably go with a draw there. Not against Nottingham Forest, so that should be three points for City. Wolves has played teams pretty well, but that should be three for City since it'll be at the Etihad. And then let's see, Fulham, that I could see, that should be three points for City. And then West Ham, I will also say three points. So where would I say are they most likely to drop points outside of against Brighton? Um, probably whenever they play Tottenham, because they'll be at Tottenham. And in fact, I'll probably say that one will be a draw. So, I'll have them beating Tottenham, or no, 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 I'll have them drawing against Tottenham to go along with everything else. Although, they probably could draw points against Fulham, or Wolves, depending on how they do in Champions League. They have played Champions League more, and they have more experience than Arsenal in Champions League and Premier League, considering especially since last year we got knocked out of Europa League pretty early, so... They're probably more equipped. Alone, 
All right, playing Man United. United might take more points off of them. They did take points off of Liverpool at Anfield, and they'll be at Old Trafford this time. So I could see Liverpool winning that, but I could also see it ending in a draw, and I'm probably going to say a draw for this. Against Crystal Palace, though, that should be three for them. Fulham, that should also be three. Everton, probably going to try and keep Liverpool from winning the league, but Liverpool's a better team, even though they probably won't be fully fit until that West Ham game, but Liverpool is a better team, so I'll give them the three points right there against Everton. And then West Ham. That one is interesting. West Ham has actually been doing pretty solid. But West Ham has Europa League matches too, don't they? Yeah. But if they advance, they're not going to play the semifinal until after they play Liverpool. So, yeah. That should also be three points for Liverpool against West Ham. Against Spurs... I could see that ending in a draw, especially because Spurs are going to be trying to make Champions League, so I'll say that turns out to be a draw. And then against Villa, Villa Park is a difficult place to play, so I'm going to say that'll probably end in a draw as well. And then against Wolves, Wolves has been playing teams well this year, but it'll be at Anfield. And I think since Liverpool is going to be fully fit, or at least they should be fully fit with the big hitters by that point, they should be able to get three points since it'll be at Anfield. And your winner for the 23-24 Premier League season... So it should be interesting down the stretch. May the best team win.